Weathering, Erosion, and Deposition by Kate O'Donnell. The atmosphere and hydrosphere change the lithosphere through weathering, erosion, and deposition. Weathering breaks rocks into smaller pieces called sediments. Erosion is the process of moving sediments from one place to another. Deposition is the process of sediments settling in a new location. Weathering can be physical, chemical, or biotic. Wind, water, and gravity cause physical changes to rock. Physical changes break the rock into smaller pieces, but they do not change the chemical composition of the rock. For example, sand particles in the wind scrape across rocks, slowly removing parts of the rock through abrasion. During frost wedging, water seeps into cracks in the rock during the day. When the temperature falls at night, the water freezes and expands. This makes the cracks bigger. When the water melts the next day, it falls further into the cracks. Eventually, the rock breaks apart. Salt wedging is like frost wedging. Water full of dissolved salts gets into the cracks of a rock. When the water evaporates, the salts left behind form a crystal that pushes against the cracks and makes them bigger. Frost wedging happens in places with dramatic temperature differences between day and night, like a desert. Salt wedging happen happens along seacoasts or dry climates where water evaporates quickly. In hot deserts, rocks expand in the heat of the day and contract during the colder nights. The repeated expansion and contraction of the rocks form cracks and breaks in them. When igneous rocks that had been buried deep underground are exposed, the change in pressure causes them to form cracks parallel to the ground and break apart. This process is called exfoliation. Chemical weathering happens when the minerals that make up the rock change their chemical structures. For example, carbonic acid can dissolve minerals inside of rocks and release ions. Carbonic acid forms in the atmosphere when carbon dioxide and water interact. Raindrops carry the carbonic acid to the ground where it reaches the rocks. When calcium ions from rocks dissolved by carbonic acid combine with carbon, they form calcium carbonate. Calcium carbonate forms calcite, which creates stalactites and stalagmites in caves. When acid changes rocks, it's called solution chemical weathering. Carbonic acid is a weak acid, but when we burn fossil fuels, nitric acid and sulfuric acid form acid rain in the atmosphere. These stronger acids dissolve more minerals than carbonic acid. Water can also dissolve minerals in rocks through hydrolysis. For example, water reacts with feldspar and granite to make clay. The clay makes the granite weaker, so it breaks more easily. Oxygen chemically weathers the minerals in rocks through oxidation. For example, when oxygen and iron combine, they make iron oxide, better known as rust. The rust makes rocks look red, and they are more fragile. When organisms change rocks, it is called biotic weathering. Biotic weathering can be either physical or chemical. An example of physical biotic weathering is a rabbit scratching away pieces of rock as it digs a den. The rock gets smaller, but its minerals don't change. A lichen releasing acid to break down the rock it is living on is an example of chemical biotic weathering. Lichen is a symbiosis between fungi and algae. It makes soil in rocky places by breaking down rocks. Plant roots also release a weak acid as they grow through soil and rocks. All types of weathering form sediments, which are small pieces of minerals and rocks. Erosion is the process of moving these sediments. The most common agent of erosion is water. Flowing water in streams, rivers, and the ocean carry sediments away from where they formed. Wind erodes sediments. Glaciers erode sediments. Gravity pulls rocks and sediments down hills and mountains. Deposition happens when sediments stop moving. Deposition forms sandbars, dunes, deltas, and beaches. Without wind from the atmosphere or water from the hydrosphere, the lithosphere would not look the way it does today. The end.